make another video. Alright, I gotta shut that down so you can hear me. Let's do the volumes. Let's hook this up. And let's go. Now, I'm going to do a quick video. And today I'm going to help you Christian right people out. I'm going to help you. You'll be able to end abortion. And the secret is in that book you say you love so much. I'm going to read it in a minute. But right now, the fight is between the Christian right who wants to end abortion and they're using the Supreme Court to have all these cases and it's going to state by state level. And um, Kamala Harris is saying, put me in because there's Supreme Court justices that are old. You don't want Donald Trump to replace them because then you'll have Republican Supreme Court for the next 20 years and they could do away with abortion. They could do away with voting rights. They could do away with it, but they could do away with abortion because that's what we're talking about. So she gets elected and looks like she's up now. We'll see next month which way it goes. People might say, yeah, yeah, it's getting a little too weird. It's getting a little too too crazy. The Christian right is a little bit too out of control. Let's put Kamala in. She put some Supreme Court justice in. But Christian right, I'm here for you. I got an answer for you. And it's in your book. It's in your book. The answer. Which I don't know why you didn't think about this. All you guys sit around. Unless, of course, you don't care about the book, that you're using doctrine to do something else. But it's in Matthew, chapter 25, verse 35. Listen up, Christian, right? It's your answer. You don't have to worry about Supreme Court. You don't have to worry about who's president, who's governor, who's anything. You can end abortion based on what your Messiah said. Matthew 25, 35 says, For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in? Or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. That's Matthew 25, 34. Chapter 25, verses 35 to 40. Create that kind of society. And you won't get abortions down to zero, but you'll get them down to very... It'll be so rare. It'll be like, oh, we got an abortion. That's weird. Create that kind of society. Not one where you're trying to do capital punishment and kill everybody. <laughs> Not one where you're trying to create homelessness and then using sanitation departments to sweep the homelessness out and saying God hates you because you're poor which I don't know where that you get in that from I've read this book five times from front to back and I don't know where you get in that I don't, I've never heard anything like that or seen anything like that unless you have a special bible and send it to me and I'll read it and we'll see so create that kind of society and you'll end abortion that's it right that's all you have to do you're welcome um for everybody else try to stay sane support the links take care and be safe